Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today, we have more proof NVIDIA's 3060 Ti is right around the corner, BIOS updates for next-gen Ryzen, actual release dates for Ryzen 5000 and RX 6000, and AMD's Ryzen 5900X is a monster. But first, if you're looking at getting parts for your next PC, check out kit.co slash gamermelt, where I go over hardware suggestions based on component type. I also give a short description for why you may or may not want a certain part. Not only that, but when you follow the links, you're helping the channel out. And this is fairly early, so I'll be adding a ton more in the near future, as well as keeping it updated as new hardware comes out. So visit kit.co slash gamermelt today. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, we have a couple stories with further proof of the upcoming RTX 3060 Ti release. So let's just get right to it. Starting things off is an EEC filing that was made by Gigabyte. In it, you can see they list multiple RTX 3060 Ti models with 8GB of VRAM. We're talking the Eagle, Gaming OC, and Aorus Master. Not only that, but retailers have already begun listing the 3060 Ti cards as found by resident leaker Momomo underscore US. As you can see, it's the Gigabyte Gaming OC, and of course, that price is just a placeholder, though a ridiculous one at that. Still, the cards are clearly not far off, so make sure to get your mouse finger ready as I have no doubt these will sell out faster than you can click F5. Next up for today, AMD's upcoming desktop Ryzen CPUs are right around the corner, and that means new leaks, rumors, and even BIOS updates. In a new press release by MSI, they're beginning to roll out beta BIOS updates that include support for quote, future AM4 socket processors. And of course, that means Zen 3. As you can see, they shared a roadmap for their release schedule, and they're starting with 10 specific 500 series boards. Then, in the middle of October, they have X570 and B550 boards, A520 boards at the end of October, and starting at the end of October, they'll begin rolling out final releases. Now, you may have noticed that these only list 500 series boards, but I'm assuming the 400 series is coming later, given what AMD ended up promising. Of course, that late October date is right around the Zen 3 release, which brings us to our next story. If you followed the channel, you know that AMD recently revealed the announcement dates for both Zen 3 and RDNA 2. And remember that Zen 3 so far looks to be called the Ryzen 5000 series, while AMD confirmed that RDNA 2 is the RX 6000 series. Either way, we now have the actual release dates for both series. The story originally comes from one Usmus, who is the creator of the clock tuner for Ryzen. Now, that may not mean much to you, but we know he works very closely with AMD and definitely knows a lot of what's going on behind the scenes. Well, according to his reply on Twitter, Zen 3 is set for release on October 20th. Which remember, that is the hard release date, not the announcement date set for the 8th. To which make sure to subscribe because I hope to do a stream of that event. Now, not only did he give us the Ryzen date, but one Usmus also states that it's the Ryzen 5800X and 5900X that'll be releasing. Obviously, that triply confirms the Ryzen 5000 naming scheme, plus it gives us the CPUs actually releasing first. To top it off, he also gave us the RDNA 2 dates, which are set to be releasing between November 15th and the 20th. Now, with that said, he did also mention that it was old information, but that AMD hasn't changed their plans. Really, AMD may have been the ones to give him the go-ahead to give it out. Who knows? Either way, let's just hope AMD's release doesn't end up being another RTX 3000 series. Then again, all of it may be caused by the thing that shall not be named, so maybe it's inevitable. Lastly for today, while we may not be getting as many leaks as normal, we are getting some. Like this benchmark that was originally found and shared on the Baidu forums. As you can see, it comes from CPU-Z, and before I get to it, I will say that CPU-Z can certainly be faked, but it's something that's just too good not to discuss. Just know that it may not be real, but multiple outlets are reporting on it, so let's go over it. For starters, as you can see, he claims that this is the Ryzen 5900X. Interestingly, it does show the codename as Igor's Lab discussed in a previous post. In that, he claimed that it was a 16-core part, but it was later revealed to be a 12-core part. So with all of that out of the way, let's get to the results. As you can see, the processor got a single-core score of 652.8 and an all-core score of 9481.8.
All in all, reports claim that the single core score is between 20 and 27% faster than the Ryzen 9 3900X, and in multi-core between 14 and 15% faster. Let's just say, that's huge. A 20-27% to jump in single core performance points to a big jump in clocks and TDP. The multi-core score is likely lower because clocks are forced down quite a bit, but that should point to a great jump in things that don't require all 12 cores, like, oh, I don't know, games? At the end of the day, this is definitely impressive, especially since AMD plans to be on the same node. Of course, now I'm really worried about stock issues. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for next gen Ryzen or are you just scared you won't get a chance to even buy it? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.